Hey everyone, so I thought I'd do a kind of little winter beauty essential saviour kind of favourites video and I thought what better time to do it than now when half the country is covered in snow. Um, so this is going to be just kind of my favourite products for really moisturising dry skin and just keeping like everything maintained during the winter months. So I'm just going to start off with the most obvious product um, which I'm sure if there are any other posts or videos like this will be in it because it's just best best thing um, and it's the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream and I'm sure you've all heard about this so so many times but it's just the best kind of like multi-purpose balm for lips, dry cuticles, dry skin, anything that needs a little bit of extra moisturising this is just the best thing to use um, yes I use them on my lips mainly but I kind of get like dry skin on my elbows and on my knees and it's just great for really adding that extra bit of hydration in the thing I seem to struggle most with in the winter, and I think this probably applies to quite a lot of people, um, is keeping the skin on my legs and my arms and like most of my body really hydrated. Um, all the moisture just seems to get completely sucked out of it when it's cold. Um, so I like to use a really kind of like rich body scrub. Um, and I think the best one for this that I've come across is Soap and Glory's Breakfast Scrub. And not only does this smell just incredible, like absolutely amazing, um, but it is so kind of like not abrasive in a harmful way, but it kind of really gets off any dry and dead skin, it kind of sloughs away um, all the excess skin cells that are kind of stopping your body from feeling nice and smooth. Um, so that's a really great one, but any rich scrub is just brilliant. Um, and then a really hydrating body lotion obviously is a must, and I find that the Kiehl's Creme de Corpse is just like the most <laughs> hydrating thing out there. It's not even that thick when you put it on, you know, it's not something that's going to take ages to sink in and it's really hard to kind of work into the skin. Uh, but once it's on, I just find this hy like keeps my skin hydrated throughout the day. You know, I'll get home, I'll use it in the morning, I'll get home um, and my skin still feels like I've almost like just put it on. Obviously, another thing that is really, really prone to dryness are the hands. Um, so again, I like to use just a really rich um, hand cream on them. And I've, you've probably heard me talk about this before because it's just my absolute favourite. Um, this is the Body Shop Hemp Hand Protector. It smells a bit funky, I will admit, but it just does not compare to anything else when it comes to keeping your hands kind of like smooth and, and chat free and just like stopping any dryness. So I'm not really that big on hair masks, I don't really tend to use them all that often, but obviously in the winter we've got like air conditioning and heating and rain and snow and wind and everything that just works together to ruin your hair. Um, so I like to make sure I use a really good hydrating hair mask every now and then. And this is the Philip Kinsley Elasticizer. Obviously this is a bit of a cult product as well, um, but it just really helps to kind of smooth out my hair and, and stop it being frizzy and just get it back to how it should be. Um, obviously I've only got like a little sample size here so I don't use it all that often but I do find when I need it this really like comes to the rescue. You only need to use it once and it pretty much does what it needs to do and then you can put it away for a couple of weeks and just bring it out again when your hair starts to get a little bit frizzier. So yeah that's a really really brilliant product. So when it comes to skincare, although I do have slightly oilier skin I do still suffer from drier patches in the colder months. So um, I think a great thing to use if you have oily skin but you still want to get a bit of hydration in but you don't want to really wear like a really heavy moisturiser all day is just to use a really great moisturising mask and I've got the Origins Drink Up Intensive Mask here and I know I mention this in so so many videos and posts, it's probably in 50% of my videos on here um, but it's just such such a great product and um, I just put a thick layer of this on overnight, let it sort of sink in before I go to bed and you just wake up with the most moisturised, plump, sort of dewy looking skin, it's just really really great. Um, so if you want that extra hydration, you know, in the night, which is going to leave your skin soft in the morning, but you don't want to just sort of like wear a really heavy cream all the time, um, this is a really, really great one to use. So I also think facial oils are brilliant to use as well, and I've got the Lizelle Super Skin Concentrate here, and this is actually in a little rollable, which is brilliant if you've got just sort of like specific dry patches that you want to kind of treat. So you just roll it onto there, pat it in, and it will just really hydrate those areas. My last kind of winter beauty essential must have isn't actually a skincare product, um, it's actually a lipstick and I think when your skin's looking a bit dull and you know you haven't got enough moisture in it and you just really want to perk up your face I think a bright lip is just the best best thing to do in the winter. I think a lot of people tend to go for like the darker lips and I, I do love the look of those but I always pick a bright lipstick in winter because it just really brightens everything up. Um, so I've got Topshop Mischief here, this is what I've got on today as well, um, and it's just the best red I think for winter, it's so moisturising, it's just going to leave your lips really hydrated, because some lipsticks obviously can be a bit drying, and I think those ones you want to try and avoid um, when it's a bit colder, but this is just a really lovely, rich, kind of moisturising red. Yes, I think a bright lipstick is always a must when it's kind of cold and grey outside. So those are all my winter beauty essentials guys, and if you are going to go for one of those things, it has to be a hour cream, it's just the best multi-purpose, um, multi-use product ever, so yeah, this is probably my number one. 
number one beauty essential. So thanks so much for watching guys. Leave me a comment below with your favourite winter beauty essential because I'd love to know um, and I will speak to you soon.